This week on The Corner, we're going to try to break the 30-minute benchy. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, it's Jeff. Welcome back to my corner. This week what we're going to do is we're going to look at speed printing benchies. Now I've been looking online and there's a Voron build out there that's doing benchies in like 12 minutes or so. I will not be able to achieve that mark. But what I can do is we're going to play around with our slicer and we're going to try and see how quickly we can print a benchy that still looks like a benchy and just not like a mound of plastic. Like here, Let me check these out. There's a fleet load of benchy. We are going to try to print a benchy in under 30 minutes. Basically an exercise on getting to know your slicer and trying to figure out how you can print something super quick. I have been practicing with this and be forewarned, do this slow because if you jump right into it, kind of like I did, you're gonna have some problems. You may damage your printer, okay? Like I had an issue where it was printing too fast, it vibrated off the, um, the Z-axis um, coupler, the brass coupler that holds the Z-rod that brings the um, X up and down. Um, yeah, you'll see that. Yeah, it's so <laughs> lesson learned. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to jump into Prusa Slicer and we're going to look at um, current profiles and their print quality and what sort of adjustments we need to make to print quickly. All right. Okay, stay tuned. So here I am in Prusa Slicer and I have uh, my KPS profile from a couple days ago that I'm kind of working on. It's you're always tweaking profiles. Um, you'll find something that's you want to work on a little bit. But so I basically sliced this at uh, 1.5 um, KP3 SPLA and 15% infill. Pretty much standard settings and that gives me a time of almost two hours to print a benchy um, and that's you know pretty typical pretty standard i can drop this up to uh, a speed print we can slice that and have a look at it and this will drop us down to about an hour and a half so yeah an uh, hour and 20 minutes So I printed at 0.2 speed, a speed profile that prints at 60 mils a second. And this is done in a minute or an hour and 20. Wouldn't a minute be fun, right? But that's an hour and 20 to do this Benchy, which is about average as they, they say about an hour and a half or so is a good quality Benchy. So let's see if we can, obviously you can push this up. The first way you're going to push these up is you're going to go with your print bleeds. So we're going to go to a draft mode. We're going to slice her again. And we're going to have a look at that, right? So here's our benchy again. So this is the first way that we can increase the speed of our benchies. So this is 51 minutes. Let's, um, now this is where we're going to start playing around in the settings. So I'm going to go to print setting. We're going to go to layers and perimeters. And I think we can go, we can push this to 0.34. And we're going to slice it. And that put us just under an hour. So let's see where this puts us now. How much time? We've got 47 minutes. That's not bad. All right, we're at 47 minutes. So let's see what we can do here. Um, perimeter and external perimeters. Let's um, drop our shells a bit. We'll drop our solid layers for our top, our solid layers for our bottom. And our infill will drop down to 5%. So that's going to save us a little bit more time as well. 
and we are going to print this bad boy here we're down to 42 minutes we're almost there we're trying to break the half hour bench sheet. we're still down to 14 minutes but our internal infill has dropped to five minutes our solid infill is still 10 minutes so let's go into speeds so our perimeters why don't we just um bump those numbers up let's go to 100 we'll double that um we'll double all of these but we'll go 80. speed for non-print moves let's just go 300 here and first layer speed we could probably get away with um if our bed's clean we'll do 40 right Maximum print speed. I don't have anything above my maximum print speed, but I'll show you that in a second. So we have basically we've bumped up our numbers here and Now we're gonna look at our mr. Benchy We're down to 38 minutes. So again, we'll print this sucker Now we're really, really, really kind of pushing. See, it's our external perimeters and our solid infill that are still our biggest numbers. Our external infill is six. Let's see if we can drop that down yet one more time. Uh, we'll go to layer and perimeters, or sorry, infill. This is where we start playing around with the infills. We'll go gyroid, reticular, reticular, um, let's slice that again. Three minutes. We're down to 35 now. All right, we're getting there. Now, the only thing you want to watch out for is if you have a model that really depends on infill. Here, I'll see if I can pull that up for you here so you can sort of see. Um, you see how it's very little infill, but it's just going to give enough to sort of build on top of, like right here. It's going to give it a couple of anchor points, right? So hopefully that will give us something solid. So that's our benchy there. What else can we do here? We're at 35 minutes. I want to break the 30 minute benchy. I don't know if I can break the 30 minute benchy, but we're going to try to break the 30 minute benchy. Let's go to our machine limits over here. Now, <clears throat> let's bump these up. I'll go 400, 400. And we're basically, we're just doubling what the slicer's maximum limits are at this point in time. And we'll see if this makes a difference. Um, 240. Now, because this is maximum feed rate, maximum acceleration, maximum jerk, ma minimum feed rate, we don't need the minimum feed rate. Don't play around with your jerk whatsoever. Maximum accelerations, I think we're okay with these. Um, but let's go back to print settings and let's go to speed. So now that we've bumped up everything, so travels 300, if we go back to our print settings, we got to make sure the numbers are above those. Uh, first layer is not going to add too much time, but let's do 60 anyways. Travels 300. Um, we had that bumped up to 400, right? So let's just do that. Uh, we'll just double these again and see if it makes a difference. So again, this is just an exercise in playing with your slicer and seeing what the cause and effect are. And that's literally all we're doing right here.
we're at 35 minutes. So, <clears throat> as far as going into the slicer, I think this is about as quick as we can possibly push it. I would not want to push it any more than this. We're going to export this, and we're going to have a look at it. Um, I think I can beat a 30 minute Benchy with this by using the uh, control panel. So let's go have a look at that and let's go play around with that too now. So that was interesting. Um, I'm glad that you guys hung out with me to try to play around with our slicers to figure out all these settings. And I got, um, as you can see here, I got the fleet, the Armada, so to speak, about all my Benchies. And you know, I got, um, here, I have a, uh, these are, you know, ones that um, didn't quite turn out that great with some of the settings. Um, I had some issues with some holes in the bows and stuff. Just general failures here and there. Um, the big white blob from the beginning of the video. And, you know, just trying to achieve a goal, right? Basically, I wanted to do a 30-minute Benchy. It's really what I wanted to do. Um, and it's almost here. This is done at, I believe, twice the speed because this video is only about 15 minutes and the Benchy took just under 30 minutes to print. Um, if you notice at the beginning of the video, it started, I think, around the 30 to 40 second mark before it actually started laying down plastic. So. I didn't really count that time, but yeah, I got myself an under 30 minute Benchy. Um, this was all done on a four mil nozzle too. That's something that you want to be aware of. Um, and it was really fun. I did try, I actually got a quicker one at 23 minutes without using any infill or anything. And as you can see, uh, while it looks like a Benchy, it's missing its interiors. It looks like it was, you know, on the bottom of the ocean and it rotted through and stuff. So I didn't really count that, but you know, as far as full layered Benchies that, um, what was this? Yeah, this is it here, 2940, right? I think that was the time on that. So yeah, um, it doesn't look too shabby for an under 30 minute Benchy. Like, you know, it's a matter of rinse and repeat, try a setting, print out a Benchy. Um, if it doesn't come out, throw it away, try another one. And if it doesn't come out, throw it. I got a lot of these. I can keep doing this all day. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. So I thought that was an interesting experience and experiment for me to get to know your slicer and get to learn some of the settings and how they how the settings affect the print and the print quality. Um, I had fun doing it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you had some comments or anything, please leave them below. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you thought this was interesting or you liked it. Um, please hit subscribe. Um, thanks so much. I appreciate all of you who watch the channel. And leave some comments below and let me know if you want me to try different slicer settings or different things or you know, whatever you guys can come up with, right? Okay, so until next time, thanks so much and peace out.